Hey everyone, it's Grandmaster Ben Feingold here, back again with our video series uh, on the opening. We do five videos for each opening. The videos are like eh, five to seven minutes long. And each video uh, discusses a different variation of the opening. This week we're going to discuss the Slav. And uh, the Slav is an opening that I have played uh, for both colors. And this is the usual move order, but not necessarily. Sometimes it's C4, C6. Okay, and this is the main starting position as far as I'm concerned. White can also play the exchange Slav, which we may cover in another video, or E3 early. But this is what I call the Slav Slav. <laughs> um, in this position, there's three moves that Grandmasters play. D takes C4, which is the mainline Slav. E6, which is the semi-Slav. A6, which is the A6 or Chelyabinsk variation. Sorry about mispronouncing Chelyabinsk. And the move we're going to look at this video is a move that's bad, but it's very common. And when I say it's very common, it's very common at the lower level. <laughs> Bishop F5. I faced this move many times, and it's almost losing. Close. And the reason it's bad, and the reason Bishop F5 is bad in a lot of queen pawn openings, if it's bad, is because it undefends b7. And so the correct way for white to, to meet this is to trade on d5 and play queen b3. And the reason we're trading on d5 is we're also attacking d5. So if black plays, you know, here or here or here, defending the b7 pawn, d5 is not sufficiently defended. And queen d7 which looks like it keeps both pawns defended, runs into knight e5, so that's, uh, that's bad. Um, some people, like me, think bishop c8 is the best move, but you're not going to face that very often. Then you're an ex exchange Slav two tempi ahead of normal theory. You get two free extra moves because black played bishop f5 to c8. So anyway, most people <clears throat> will play a very bad move here. Um, the mm, semi-book line is, is queen b6, knight takes d5, and the reason this works is if black trades queens, we can put this check in first and then take the queen back, and white's just a pawn up in the end game. So black takes the knight and plays e6, and then when the queen moves away, I think this is the best move, then there's bishop b4 check, which, I mean, it doesn't really do much. I mean, here I just think white's up a pawn. I don't, I don't see any compensation. So what a lot of people do, since they're obviously unfamiliar with the opening when they play bishop f5, they continue to be unfamiliar and play b6. And b6 is always a terrible move when your bishop isn't uh, hanging around here. And now white's for sure winning, and there's many winning moves. My favorite winning move is e4. And the reason you play e4 is if they take it, you play knight e5 threatening checkmate. And if they stop checkmate with e6, you play bishop b5 check and their bishop can't help defend. And this is already winning. For example, if knight bd7, bishop g5 is winning. You're pinning all the knights, you're just going to win a piece. Like if here you just take this and the knight's going to fall. And the best move is knight ft7. And, I mean, a lot of moves win, but this move wins the quickest, g4. And if you play bishop g6, which is the only safe square, um, h4 wins, d5 wins, everything wins. Um, the engine likes h4, uh, d5 also wins. White's just crashing through and black's position is frankly terrible. After h4, the engine just gives a piece away. It doesn't even, like, try to save the bishop. If you want to try to save the bishop, moving the f-pawn with, like, f6 is hanging the e6 pawn with check. Um, h6, for example, which saves a piece, just runs into the same issues. Check, and g6 pawn's hanging, e4 pawn's hanging, knight's pinned, mainly, etc. Um, so b6 is a really bad move. Now, a long time ago, on my birthday... Um, about 30 years ago, about, and I've had this position many times. Um, 
I won the game pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, I played bishop g5. And my opponent played knight bd7. I played rook c1. And they played uh, bishop e6 to try to save their pawn. e3. a6 to try to stop me from going here. And then I took the knight. And they took back the worst way. Although every way is bad because I'm going to win a pawn. But they took this way thinking they were saving their pawn. And white has more than one move that wins. But the engine says the best move is plus five. Plus five. I played the best move. Bishop takes a6. And my opponent resigned. He was about 2140. And this was a slow game. But it was my birthday. And if he takes, I was going to play queen b5 check winning his rook. Which is winning. And the engine says this is more winning because knight c7 check is, is deadly. I wasn't going to play knight b5. I was going to play this. But yeah, he resigned. I thought his resignation was premature, but the engine says, no, that's good resignation. He's completely dead lost. I was like, all right. So you don't ever want to play b6 in this opening with black, and you don't want to play bishop f5. So if you're trying to learn the slot from the black side, don't play bishop f5 on move four. And if you're white, you take on d5 and play queen b3, and that's how you punish bishop f5. Bishop f5, bad. Don't do that. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoy the series. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.